This video is sponsored by DistroKid. This, in my opinion, is the best studio desk for your home studio. The Rap Audio Pro Rack. I've been hiding a secret from you guys for a little while now. My bad, sorry. The studio desk that I've been using this whole entire time was a foldable table from Walmart. With all the gear that I had put on it, it literally had a dip in it. So I immediately started to reach out to other companies to see if they would help out. No response from nobody, nobody cared. And personally, I just couldn't take it any longer. I wanted to go ahead and buy some new gear, so I bought an SSL Fusion. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some videos on that. I did recently drop a video on the SSL Fusion. Click the card at the top right if you wanna see that video. And now I'm buying more gear than ever, so I kinda need more space for hardware. It seemed like the Rap Audio Pro Rack was kinda in my budget, so I went ahead and tried it out. I definitely felt like this was the perfect desk for mixing and mastering, for music production. And if you need your songs mixed and mastered, definitely book me to mix and master your song, link in the description. Having a dedicated desk for music production can definitely inspire you to make more music. But having a desk like this can really increase your effectiveness in having everything ready to go. Real quick, I gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, DistroKid. If you're looking to upload your music to your favorite streaming platforms, definitely check out DistroKid. With one payment a year, you can basically upload unlimited amounts of songs throughout the whole entire year. My favorite thing about DistroKid, you have HyperFollow, which you can share one link to have links to all your other different platforms. You also get the opportunity to use promo cards to share your music to run ads to them to get more listeners to your music. They literally give you shareable content to help you with promoting your music. Definitely go ahead and check out DistroKid as soon as possible. Link in the description to get affordable plans to get signed up today. Back to the video. As soon as I got my desk, I called up one of my friends to see if they would help me out to put it all together. Shout out to my bro Justin Red. He streams on Twitch. If you guys are a gamer and you like to watch that type of content, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. When picking up a new desk, one of the main key factors was the size. They offer this desk in multiple different sizes, but for me, 36 inches fit my room just fine. This desk is designed to have like a mixer or a keyboard on top. They also give you these rubber pads so you can sit your console or your keyboard nicely on the desk. I just use this for my 25 keyboard and my interface. Honestly, I think I could say this was the desk that I was looking for. We're looking at this desk. I wasn't sure exactly where my laptop would go and I didn't want to put my laptop just anywhere, just making things look messy. So what I did was I got a rack shelf that I could use to put on the back. Using this shelf, I'm able to keep my workstation a lot cleaner without having any computers or wires hanging around dangling. I also got this desk because it has the opportunity to have cable management inside the desk where I can hide the cables through and inside the desk. Keeping a very super professional look. When people come in here, they instantly feel that this is a professional setting. The next reason I got this desk is because of the rack space. I also have soft tube faders that I really, really love and enjoy using for mixing and mastering, but I didn't want to put that on my desk and make it look tacky. You know, I just wanted to keep everything minimal as possible. So I went ahead and picked up these panels here to help me put the soft tube uh, faders and stuff inside the desk. So I think that is just a much cleaner look overall. So I don't have these faders just either in the middle of the desk or on the side of the desk, just taking up space. It wasn't hard to set up. You just take off the original casing and just basically install it into these panels and then install the panel into your desk. Link in the description to everything that I mentioned so you can pick it up yourself. I also got a patch base so I can basically hook everything up to it and instead of going into the back of the interface when I wanna move things around and change the connection here and there, which I currently do consistently, I just use the patch bay to switch everything around super fast right at the desk. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on how to set up a patch bay. Honestly, this is my first, my very first patch bay and I was able to set it up very successfully and it's really not that hard, but let me know if you guys are having some issues. 
when I got this SSL Fusion, I was super, super happy and excited to get my first SSL something, you know what I'm saying? Almost like a console kind of thing, but not really a console. Went ahead and wanted to get an SSL branded panel that I found online. I honestly seen this somewhere on like, like a sound on sound video or something like that online. And literally I wanted that same exact panel, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I happened to find one on the internet. It's pretty much the only one on the internet, but it got here a little bit kind of dirty. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I cleaned it off pretty good because it was used. And I wonder if it is from someone from their SSL team because it came from somewhere in San Diego. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if anybody's from SSL all the out there in San Diego. If you're watching the video, hey man, like, hey, let's, let's work something out. The Pro Rack desk can hold up to 10 units on each side, which is a lot of units, which is pretty great. And you get additional four on each side on the back, which you can use your power conditioners or anything like that. If you ever so happen to run out of space and you just need more gear and you don't have any more room, you can put those power conditioners or the stuff that's not useful in the back so you have more space, which is pretty great. Which personally, I'm using my power conditioners all in the back. Uh, just so I can have more space and more breathing room and stuff like that. And one thing I do want to mention about this desk that nobody ever mentioned is the fact that in the third slot where you put your gear at, the third slot, you cannot use hardware that is very long. You know what I'm saying? You can use hardware that's, you can put hardware in that third slot. It's short, but I can't put my Neve 1073 in that third slot because it's a very long unit and nobody ever said anything about anything like that on YouTube. So I'm gonna let you guys know that now. If you're thinking about getting this desk and you have some hardware that's very long, it's gonna hit the back of the leg. Just so you know, I paid, the, I paid for the desk with my own money. So they didn't pay me for this video. They didn't send me this desk. I bought this desk myself. At the moment, I don't have enough gear to fill up all the rack panels. So I do have this rack vent panel that I found from Sweetwater, which is allowing some airflow and also keeping a very clean aesthetic. I really, really love the fact that I can set up my studio monitors on top of my desk. They do allow an area for that. They are wide enough to put really big speakers on. Each side holds up to 40 pounds, so that should be enough for most speakers. Being the fact that I got a 36 inch desk, I don't feel like the speakers are too far apart away from me. I'm also using ISO acoustics to remove unwanted vibrations from my desk, which I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys check out. Rather you need the big ones or the smaller ones. I purchased the, the big ones here that you can see the Neumann 310As are sitting on, but the uh, other ones like the Yamahas, they did send these out to me and I did notice a difference. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a video on that trust me guys this definitely helps out with your studio big night and day difference for sure definitely get these stands i also now have enough space to add my microphone boom stand i used to always put my microphone up but now i might as well just keep it on the microphone boom stand a hidden gem about this desk is the fact that the keyboard tray is huge I mean, look, just look at this thing. You can literally put your keyboard on one side and on the other side have your plate of chicken or some watermelon, I don't know. Making your area look super clean, definitely giving you less distractions so you can focus more on your music, quickly giving you access to your gear whenever you need it, and being able to have the access to customize to your personal workflow. With all that being said, I personally honestly can say I love this desk, and I can say that it definitely has improved my workflow. Well, I hope this video helps you make a decision on getting your studio desk. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you guys add me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Threads. I'm on Threads you guys you know what i'm saying make sure you guys add me on that you guys stay safe peace